Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for February 25th, 2019. So my goodness, I was actually about 20 minutes before the, the futures opened yesterday, I was wondering just exactly how the market would respond after a 10-week rally. Right now, we are opening up into our 11th week of rally. You can see here on this weekly chart, not one black candle in there, and actually not one week with a lower open here on the Dow. And that's truly amazing when you think about it, um, how quickly and how much we have rallied up in the market. And I was curious, after, after such a strong run and as we're pushing against significant resistance levels here in the market, what would happen? Well, that um, question mark really was resolved very quickly because about 10 minutes before the market opened, the president tweeted that he would um, uh, not raise the tariff. He was going to extend um, that out. There were not going to be a tariff increase on China and even talked about the um, progress. Uh, the positive progress in the negotiations between the U.S. and China. Even though there are a U.S. Official officials letting us know that we have some really big stumbling blocks yet to resolve um, in this negotiation, um, the market just um, exploded in bullishness, um, obviously, when that happened. Asia markets rallying sharply last night. That's translated around the world. European markets are, are currently um, uh, bullish across the board, and U.S. futures are pointing to about another uh, triple, well, a triple digit gap up. We had a triple di digit gap up and run on Friday, and now we're looking at about a 150 point gap up this morning um, in the Dow. So pretty amazing stuff going on here. Just run, 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 run. There's no concern whatsoever. Um, about any of the news that continues to populate the news channels of global slowdown. The bulls don't care. They don't care that we had you know, poor retail numbers. They don't care we had poor housing numbers. They are in full-on beast mode wanting to go up, and we have to respect that. Um, even though there are signs of uh, that the market is overbought, that we're extremely stretched here in the market, we have to respect the fact that the bulls are going to ignore that at the moment. We want to go up. Trend is still currently up. Bulls are pushing higher to the upside. Will resistance come into play in here someplace? Maybe so. But for now, all we can do is uh, play along with a very strong bull run here in the market. So everything overall in this chart is looking good. Trying to break through the 26,000 level here on Friday, just barely closed above that. This morning we will be gapping up confidently above that. But keep in mind, you can move above a significant uh, price level and then still turn around and come back down. So being um, overextended in the market, I just want to offer up that little bit of caution here once again. As we press these um, resistance levels, it's only going to take a little stumble before we could roll uh, back down that hill and actually fairly sharply because we've moved up so strong. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also pushing up here toward this triple top resistance level right here. We'll have to watch that closely. You can see we're gapping up close into there this morning, pushing up toward that resistance level. We'll wanna watch that closely um, as we get up there. But right now, full on beast mode here in the bulls, um, no turning back. Just be careful not to chase as we push into this resistance. Let's take a look at um, the cues. Cues also showing nice bullishness this morning, gapping up, trying to breach this level of resistance right here this morning. Looks like we'll breach it pretty comfortably and pushing up toward these next levels of resistance up here. So 
as we press these resistance levels, just keep in mind uh, that we we could find uh, finally find uh, some profit taking coming into the market. Uh, nothing here that says that yet. Bull trend is up. Uh, the bulls are clearly in control. Let's take a look at the Qs. Oops, excuse me, IWM. IWM also very, very strong and very, very bullish, as you can see, uh, breaching here uh, this resistance level on Friday. And now we're moving up to test this next little high right here on um, IWM. It looks like we're going to test that this morning with the gap up over, open. And we'll have to see um, where we go from here. Now, the IWM has a little bit less trouble here because it really has no major effect. Um, at all by the um, the tariff um, or the Chinese uh, negotiations because they're predominantly domestic companies. This is responding more to uh, probably the earnings. And which, by the way, we have a big week of earnings ahead. We'll talk about that in just a second. Let's take a look at the VIX real quick. VIX, no fear in this market. We continue to diminish, and I would guess that we're going to see this move even lower here this morning. And I worry about the fact that we may be reaching a little bit of a complacency in the market where no one believes that the, mar that the market can fail. Everybody's rushing to the market to jump in. And I'm worried about a little bit of complacency coming into the market. But as it stands right now, this chart is certainly bullish for the market. We're continuing to drop fear out of the market. There's no worries here at the moment. But we will want to keep an eye on it as we approach these levels down in here. That would be a significant level of support, a, a truly amazing level of support, and a truly... Uh, uh, level that I think we w would be um, complacency for sure um, after such a sharp move down here in fear. So kind of keep keep that in mind. We'll just have to watch that closely. And there's nothing here that would suggest bearishness as of yet. Let's take a look at T twenty one. 22. This thing, I don't know what do you what do you do with this. This has been one of the most reliable indicators um, for uh, for my career. Honestly, uh, just when we reach these uh, levels up in here, we can expect a pullback in the market. When we reach these levels down in here, we can expect the market to rally. I, 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 I've said this before and I'm going to keep saying this in my entire career. I've never seen this um, or we've been up here this long and and pegged and continuing to gap higher. So that brings cautiousness to me. And and, and I am certainly uh, concerned that we have reached out here just a little bit too far in the market and that a pullback could occur uh, virtually at any time. So watch that closely. Also, if you take a look at T2108, T2108 is the um, uh, a percentage of the stocks above it, their 40-day moving average. And you can see in this chart, when we reach up into these levels, um, that's when we pull back. Notice the straight up move here. Um, that's truly remarkable and you can see we had a straight up move right here that ended up selling off now notice it did stay up here for a while so kind of keep that in mind we do doesn't mean that we have to fall um here immediately we can hang around up here but my goodness have we stretched this market um to an extreme level in a very quick period of time so just keep that in mind let's take a look at our earnings, uh, excuse me, our economic calendar today. Our economic calendar, really nothing on here to move the market around much. As you can see, we have three reports in here, um, one at 8.30, one at 10. Wholesale trade um, may be the one to give us the best chance of moving us around, and then the Dallas Fed manufacturing survey. But I kind of suspect there won't be anyone paying attention to these things this morning just because 
um, we are so bullish in the market. Keep in mind, we've had stumbling blocks in housing before where we stumbled a bit and we have another housing number on Tuesday. So kind of keep that in mind as we approach. We have some big um, economic reports here in the market um, this week. So kind of keep those in mind as we move forward. On the earnings calendar, we have about 130 companies reporting earnings today. And um, lots of those um, earnings are starting to roll in already. So good. Uh, we want to pay attention to those earnings reports. Strengths um, in the earnings have certainly been, uh, uh, been a nice catalyst for the overall market. So and there's no reason to believe that that won't continue. Um, we have about uh, another big week with a, uh, more than 200 on uh, reporting on both Tuesday, Wednesday, and over 300 reporting on Thursday. So a big earnings week ahead of us. Keep that in mind as you plan your week forward. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day, and I want to wish you a very profitable day. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube, follow me button on Facebook, click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. For every one of you who do that, thank you so much. Um, supporting this channel, um, you can't imagine how important that is to me that um, these videos are being so well received. And remember my purpose of doing these is just to help everyone do a better job of preparing for their day and being uh, thoughtful about the things that may affect the market. So there's no predictions here. I don't predict anything. Um, I'm just pointing out the, um, the price action of these markets. And if you find that useful, please do me a favor. Um, share, share this video on Facebook and YouTube and um, share it with anyone. Um, because I want to reach out and help as many people as I can with these videos. Thank you for those of you who support it. And it truly is humbling um, to see so many uh, finding value in these videos. So with that, everyone, let's take a look at a few charts that are setting up and something that should be maybe on your watch list to pay attention to. I wouldn't necessarily suggest that any one of these are a buy. I'm, I, that's not the purpose of these. They're just um, uh, charts of interest that we should uh, uh, you know, put on a list and pay attention to um, in these trades. Um, AKS, I've mentioned this one before. AKS, nice little chart pot pattern here, getting a little bit of a pullback. But this morning, this might energize a little bit higher. Watch that one, a really nice little trend here in this chart in AKS. Um, 3M, 3M perked up on my list Um last week and as you can see 3m has broken a longer term downtrend and now we're consolidating in this nice little move over we had a buy signal here on friday and it looks like we're going to gap up this morning but please keep in mind uh, because we are still away from this trend it's not at all a surprise to see if we pop up and then still move over toward this trend before 3m actually really takes off and gets moving but a very nice looking chart home depot another one of those charts moving up nicely and as you can see moving up in this trend consolidating tightly moving over toward its trend keep in mind now three i mean home depot reports here on tuesday so you'll want to keep that in mind um, as you watch that chart really like the chart in wdc wdc pop beautifully on Friday and now following through this morning with a gap up open watch that one closely um, WDC looking very very good and very strong breaking through this level of resistance right here um, target is another uh, that looks like it is setting up target stores retail kind of bouncing around here broke through this resistance level as you can see and now moving moving itself over toward the trend i would watch this one to see if it can pop out of here maybe even come up and fill that gap so really good charts um, all over the place i'm still 
keeping a very close eye on Apple. I haven't bought yet, but Apple really nice consolidation. Looks like this morning it's going to gap up and may be moving without me um, on this move up. But nice, nice setup here in this chart. Definitely one to be paying attention to and um, one to be uh, kind of staying focused on. So there's a few charts for you to pay attention to, a few things that you might um, uh, provide you a good watch list. Um, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. And please do me a favor, click that subscribe button, click that follow me button, leave a comment and share this video with other friends and family. Everyone take care of yourselves. I wish you all the best. Have a great day and we'll see you bright and early Tuesday morning. We'll